Hi, my name is Mary Patel, and today I'm going to be doing a science experiment. I'm going to be testing how a candle burns under different oxygen levels. My theory, personally, is just that the flame on the candle will just grow bigger in size. Many other people think that the tank would just basically explode. So t right now we're going to be testing this theory to prove it. Now let me start the experiment. Now let's start the experiment. First, before I start this, there, as you can see, there's a candle and a fishbowl. Now as I turn on the oxygen, the oxygen is going to run through this tube and it's going to start building up. And once it builds up to the flame, you'll see changes in the flame. Now first, I'm going to light the candle. Okay. Now, as you can see, it's just a burning candle. Now, let me turn on the oxygen. Okay. I've turned on the oxygen. It may be a while, but right now the oxygen is starting to build up. And as it builds up, you'll be able to notice the change. See, the oxygen is probably already getting there. As you can see, it's brighter and it's glowing. See, it's already increased in size and it's changed in color. And wow, it's really burning. It's really hot. It's melting the candle, as you can see. Now, let me go and turn off the oxygen. Now, to put out this fire. Well, that was pretty hard putting it out because it was really glow it was really burning as hot as hot as it was. So what have we learned from this experiment? Well, I've disproved two of the theories that the tank will explode or that the flame would just get bigger. Well, as you saw, neither of those two things just happened. The flame changed in colors and got intensely hot, so hot that the candle started melting away like water dripping down on a stick. So in conclusion, we know that oxygen just makes fire burn hotter. Thank you for joining me in my experiment. This is part two of my experiment, and instead of using a candle, this time we're using a piece of charcoal. This charcoal has come just fresh off the grill. It's hot, but it's just not visible. We put it on an empty soda can so that it will not crack the glass. So as I turn on this oxygen, it will run through the tube and it will start leveling up. Once it hits the charcoal level, we'll be expecting it to get hotter, just like in the previous experiment with the candle. So let's start the experiment. Okay, so first I'm gonna turn on the oxygen to 20 liters a minute. It's at 20 liters a minute. And right now the oxygen is leveling up and soon we'll be able to see what happens. See how the charcoal is already starting to glow? It's really burning. Look, a flame caught on there. That's how hot it's getting. Whoa. Oh, it's getting really hot. I can like feel it. Okay, let me turn off the oxygen. The oxygen off. Now I'm gonna flush it out with normal air. pretty much proves our experiment. So what have we learned from this experiment? Well, I've learned that under higher oxygen levels, just like the candle experiment, charcoal burns hotter. In the candle experiment, when we raised the oxygen level, it got smaller. The flame didn't even get bigger. It got smaller. It started glowing, and it was really bright. In this experiment, when we raised the oxygen level, the charcoal, it started getting red. You could see the heat of it, and sparks were going everywhere. So in conclusion, oxygen doesn't explode, it's not explosive, it just makes things burn hotter. Thank you for joining me in my experiment.